ओके हेलो सर सो इन कॉटन पर फी व्हाट आई डू व्हाट आई टू यूज़ फॉर द रिकॉर्डिंग इज बिकॉज़ आई एम शेयरिंग दिस दिस ज़ूम इज मेकिंग यूज़ ऑफ़ द a webcam so it can't take the the webcam but not still standing as already started recording so i'm recording already just watch my screen and see how you can use the uh, white box so once you click on share but the first thing i need to do and this is the error that everybody used to do after when I'm done with this uh, recording, I will send it to you. You will watch it so that you can see what is happening on my own head here. So what people used to do, you know, I have the administrator right, administrative right. So I want to give you a co-host so that all the elements, just watch all the elements beside your, your mic, your video, you will also see some other things appearing underneath there. So, and that is what we call the co-host. That's the error that people don't do. I mean, that's the error that people do, rather. Sorry. So, I'm giving you an administrative right now, which you will see at the lower side of your screen. You will, uh, you will notice that some other things are appearing. So, I've already made you a co-host now. Just watch something. Have you observed anything? I'd already make you go. Uh, it's there already. Click, click on the participant. Can you see participant? Uh, click on the participant. You will see that it's only you and I that is there. Now, if you look at your name beside your name, can you see co-host? Exactly. Do you know what that means? Is the same right I have is the same right you have. That is the meaning. So what it means is you can you can accept people in, you can read persons. You make them co-host so that you can do other work. So I'm making you a co-host again. I'd already make you a co-host now. If you check the participant, you will see beside your name, uh, a co-host. You can have hundreds of people, but you're supposed to make like one or two other person a co-host, so that you delegate some work for them to do. That's the meaning of that. Now, if you look down beside your mic, your video, then you will see other things too appeared. What other things can you see there? The what? The what? You can see record. Uh -huh. You can see record. Can you see more? More? You can see reaction. Can you see more? Can you see share screen? Okay. Don't worry. By the time I send you the video, you will see everything. You have share screen. Oh, no. Now wait. Let me share my screen. Hello? Aha. Uh -huh. Now let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. Right? I'm sharing my screen right away. Uh, let me see what I want to share. Let me get what I want to share. Okay. Okay. Let me pick this. Is this sharing already? Okay, 
my my network is uh, is it up now? Aha! Uh -huh. Now, now that is up, what can you see? That's the only thing you can see. What else can you see? Can you see another one? Mm. Okay, okay. This is blue, exactly. Now, if you if you now want to let me open let me open the whiteboard. No, no. A loom is a screen recording. We use that for screen recording. You need to get it also. You need to get it also. Yes. Uh, my my network is slow. Now, can can you see that I'm writing some things? Eh? I'm writing on the website. Uh -huh. You can see I'm writing on the Loom website. Abby? Yes. Uh, why I'm writing on this one is because it's not giving me the whiteboard from my own hand here. But that doesn't say I can't write. What I can just do is I can I can decide to open another plain site, which is what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to open up a plain site. Sorry, my network is really, really slow. Exactly. Now, can you see? Can you see? I'm on a plain site. I'm on a plain background. Do, do, do you get me? I'm on a plain background. Uh -huh. Or if that is not what I want to use. Since this one is not giving me, you can see it's, it's showing a uh, Google, isn't it? Can you see Google? It's showing, it's, it's not giving me a plain white background. So once it's not giving me that, what I just need to do is let me, let me just open up a plain program, which is uh, a notepad so that I can have a white background. That's just the essence of the whiteboard. Can you see I'm having a white background here? Huh? Can you see I have a white background already? Now, because yes. my, my is not giving me uh, the whiteboard I wanted, but I needed a whiteboard. There are several options which I can use. I can use, for what I've done now, I'd call up a notepad, which background is pure white. Or I can go to my PowerPoint. Are you following me, sir? Or I can go to my, yeah. Or I can go to my PowerPoint, open up 
the PowerPoint. Can you see the PowerPoint coming up? Now, you, 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 there's another thing I need to show you. You know, there are times a prof or every other person, they will share and unshare. They will share and unshare. You don't need to do that. You can see the way I'm doing it. Everything is coming up the way I'm doing it. This is how it's supposed to be. You don't need to share and unshare, share and unshare. It, it still shows that they have some... Uh, you can see everything that is coming up, isn't it? I'm not sharing. I'm, an, I'm not doing any on share, share, on share, share, and everything. What I just picked was I just picked to share my desktop. And what that means is it's going to be sharing everything that you have on your desktop. You can see it has shown the, uh, the PowerPoint. Then I'm now going inside the PowerPoint. Once I get inside the PowerPoint, you will see that even though if I now display or I project my PowerPoint, it's still going to give me the normal thing I'm sharing. Share so get what I'm trying to say. Is because why is using that? I've cleared all the all what I'd written there. What it uses is whiteboard. You see that whiteboard works for if I didn't give you the administrative right. I had given you administrative right. What we are having here is far, far more than the board. By the time you will see this video, you will see so many options are here for me to use. So many options, which are not there in a whiteboard. Now, you can see the, the background display. Our, our PowerPoint is still loading. We'll go back there any moment from now. Now, I want to type. I can click on the text at the background here, and I can begin to do, you can see what it's showing. Can you see what I'm writing? Uh-huh. You get that? Now, if, exactly. Now, if I don't want, if I don't want to use Okay, I have, we'll, we'll talk about that one later on. How we will use, instead of using all this whiteboard of, uh, of uh, Zoom, we can use the whiteboard of PowerPoint. I'm going to stop this sharing very soon, by the time about when we are done with this one. Now, if I want to draw, if I want to draw, there are drawing tools which I have here. Let me click one. Let me pick one. I'll pick one. So, you see my drawing. Can you see what I am drawing? Aha. Uh -huh. You can see what I drew. That's how to use the drawing. Then let me pick another drawing. I'm picking this. See what I am drawing. I'll pick that. Then I want to type inside. I pick something else. And I click inside, then I do my typing. Type. And it's right fixed inside that thing. I can uh, inside the box, which I have picked. I want to pick my format that is changing my color. I can go to color. I've picked a color. And I'm typing again. You can see it has it has changed. What did I write? Exactly. So, oh, yes, sir. Yeah. You will, you will have, you have access to it presently now. But I am sharing from my own side. By the time you share from your own side, you will have access to all of them. I'm just showing you how they work, so that by the time you will get the video, you will see how it's working. Uh -huh. You still need to watch the video. Uh -huh. You see how it's working. Now, the next thing we are going to do now is let's go to our PowerPoint. It's not only on this Zoom that you can have all this display of a thing you, 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 that you can use. Now, the PowerPoint, put here, put here. Suppose you are finished loading.
so let me remove my i'd stopped my uh my so i want so that i can get to my powerpoint can you see my powerpoint exactly okay yeah let me go to a black presentation you can see everything that i had written they are still showing can you see the, the type this is red this is page and all of them so i want to stop them i want to delete them how do i delete them that's the next question now. so it's just a matter of bringing up your bringing up your you just because on my own hand here you might not be seeing what i am seeing but by the time you see the video you will understand just move your cursor a little to the screen sharing then you will see options that comes up at the options you can go to annotation once you click on the annotation all your drawings your writings on your desktop will show just click on clear all drawings once you clear all drawings everything goes up you can see that everything has gone up so you then you can close back your drawings now where we are now is the powerpoint you can you can enlarge the powerpoint to cover the screen properly and i never share and unshare i'm still sharing the next thing i need to go is i go to my presentation this is my slideshow if i click on the slideshow see what will happen you have a complete white background you can you see now i've not on the complete white background on the complete white background if you move your cursor just try and look at it very well there is very faint down here where i have my cursor can you see that some things are showing there uh -huh. you can see i'd click i'd click a pen i'm selecting a pen so i want it to be red so i'll select the pen once i select the pen the pen is selected you can see i have a red pen what do you see here that i'm writing What have I written? So there is there is a device which I'm yet to get, and one more, they they sell it in the Kaja. Yeah, is a writing pen where you can you can use it to write on your screen. But what I'm using now is just my pad and my mouse to write. So what have I written? What is this that I have? Exactly. So what I'm trying to show you from here is you have three types. There are even more than that. The one I've showed you is how to write on the screen, not on the white on the screen not on the whiteboard because i've given you administrative rights and i am also having the admin right so i can write on the screen you are going to do yours very soon i can write on the screen then i can also write under my background which is you open up your notepad and begin to write there then this is the third one you open up your powerpoint you produce you produce you do your slide presentation then you can then begin to write just like the way we've done now now i'm going to unshare my screen and 
you will share your screen. But before that, let me close my PowerPoint. So I have closed my PowerPoint. So now we are quickly going to try two things. Now, one is we are going to be going to try two things now. You know, I've given you a co-host. Now click on share. Click on share. Share screen. You have a whiteboard there. All right, all right, all right. Because I didn't see whiteboard on my side. You are not sharing your screen yet. You are not sharing yet. I can't see anything. All right, it's coming up. I'm coming. Yeah, I can see your screen. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> That's your drawing. And you draw a rectangle. What we need to get now is the screen writing pen, the screen pen, a computer pen. I think I will source for it in the kitchen, so that when you are, instead of you using your mouse, your your pad on the laptop, you can begin to use the pen to write, to do the writing, which is far, far, far more better and convenient. So you've gotten the whiteboard. You've gotten the whiteboard. No, no, no. I didn't see. Bobby, Bobby. Uh, maybe. Uh, if I didn't see it, it doesn't mean I cannot use my whiteboard. Uh -huh. That doesn't mean you cannot. Yeah, the other method. No. Uh, that is the issue now. You don't need to stop your share. But just stop. Stop. You can, just, you can see that I didn't stop anything. I was just displaying everything. So when you want to share, the system will ask you. Let me just, let me, let me do something from here. I had stopped you. I stopped you. I've done that for you. Now listen, you click on share, look, oh, you will click on share. Then the first, the first thing you are seeing on that share, you know, a box will come up that will say select a window or an application that you want to share. And click on, click on share. You will see that thing. It's, don't, don't, it's showing, it's showing what, select a window or an application that you want to share. Uh -huh. Now, the first thing you are seeing, wait, the first thing you are seeing is the screen. The first option that you should see is screen. Abby, okay, I can see, I can see my whiteboard now. I can see my whiteboard now. You can see the first one there is what? Screen. The second one is what? Whiteboard. Yeah whiteboard so the best option for you to pick is screen so once you pick screen everything that has to do with your screen is what is going to be sharing 
So in that case, you don't need to share or share, share or not share. If you, okay, if you, I got your question. If you click on the white board, wait, wait. If you click uh, the white board, you will need to unshare from the white board before you can go back to your screen. But when you click on screen, but when you click on screen, what I'm trying to say is, you know, Prof, we always say he wants to unshare, to share. Share on share, share on share. You shouldn't be. You should have said share. Once you select share, it shares everything on your on your system. Now, you, you sir, oh yeah, click on click on share screen and click share, and say and select it to be share. Uh, share it now. Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly, it's showing your desktop, and I can see zoom. Uh, it's, I can see zoom on your desktop. I can see everything you have at the lower end side. <clears throat> now I want you to open an application. Just open an application. Go to your start and open anything. Uh -huh. I can see your your stuff dropping up. I can see your Microsoft Word, PowerPoint. I can see your PowerPoint being shared. Uh -huh. Make it big. Make it big. You, you just need to uh, begin to drag it. Just click the upper side. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Just click on it. And so that it's yeah, large. Uh -huh, that is it. So I'm seeing your PowerPoint. Now go to your slideshow. Click your slideshow. Aha, you are. Uh -huh. I'm seeing your background. You are. You uh, click something again. I'm seeing the black background. Aha, uh -huh. go to from beginning again. Uh -huh. This is it. You know, this is this is whiteboard from PowerPoint. If you take your cursor down, down, down to the edge side, edge side, yeah, edge side. Aha, uh -huh. select, uh -huh. select that one, click on that one. Uh -huh. Now select pen. You can now begin to write on that whiteboard. Just, just, uh -huh. do you get it? Uh -huh. So, so if, if paraventure, if paraventure, you don't have a a mechanism to have your share for your whiteboard of your Zoom. You have the one from your PowerPoint, as it's been displayed now. I, I, as an alternative, and what you have, what you have here, what you have here, what you have here now, you can clean it. You've done that exactly. Now I want you to press the. The Microsoft key on your keyboard. Microsoft key on your keyboard. You can see what comes up. Can you see? Uh -huh. Now I want you to browse. Go to the internet. Browse, browse from the internet. Just open any page. Just click on it. Uh -huh. Open any page. Uh huh. Hey, yes, as many things as you want. So, but the uh, issue of people saying share or share, share, or, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be. Where, where you are saying, where you want to be doing this share or share of the thing is, is probably if you just want to share a page, just one page, because inside that your Zoom, where you want to share it to show you several things that had already been opened on your system. Share you get that now. Uh -huh. So now let let's uh -huh. 
exactly. That's fine. Now let's quickly go to this uh, Zoom registration of the thing. The first thing you need to have, you need to, which I know, do you have a, uh, you have a Gmail account, isn't it? If you don't, you open. Uh, just share don't say don't look for it just click on share the first element on your share then you can then begin to look for it uh -huh. so you can go to your internet go to your click your internet Maximum, make, make this one big. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So, this is your. This is your Zoom, I mean. Hey, you already have an account already now. Which account is it? Uh, this is your account. Uh -huh. So, you only have. You listen, listen. You only have this is a free account, which will, which will give you access to only forty minutes. You can only have access to forty minutes. Just forty minutes. Once it's forty minutes, it will close. Then you have to start again. That's what this account means. But if you want to have the one that will give you access to unlimited uh, time which is the one i have you have to pay almost almost uh, almost nine thousand naira per month that one will give you mm, that will give you that that uh, that thing now uh, the one is using uh, you know the, that's the list that you can pay but for my own this one you are seeing, I'm paying almost 40,000 naira for it per month. This one is almost 40,000 naira per month because it can accommodate 500 students. In fact, it's even 600 students that it can accommodate. 600 at a go. You have the one that can take 1,000. You have the one that can take 2,000, 4,000, 5,000, and even 10,000. At the group is hundred. The maximum people you can take is hundred. Then the eh, uh, they can click on that link, or you quickly create another link, or they then they will just click on that link, or you will restart it once it's expired. So now let's talk about it. You have the topic. The topic is explanatory. <coughs> you can put anything there. Just erase it and put uh, and put uh, just a lecture. Lecture on uh, EDTO one, something like that. Okay, that is fine. Uh -huh, that is fine. Then your description. What you've written is okay. Now, if you look at when. You can see you have month come before day, month come before day, then before year. So you can select which you can pre. Uh -huh. uh, yes, yeah. Then that's the time which you want them. You can say that's four four thirty a.m. early in the morning. Aha, uh -huh, okay, four thirty p.m. <coughs> You've set it to be two hours duration. But Zoom is telling you that your Zoom basic plan has a 40 minutes time or meet it with two or three more participants. So if it is you and somebody, that is two of you, you can have unlimited time. But the moment you are three, the time for this free version is 40 minutes. The moment you are three or more, you cannot have unlimited time. 
But if it is you and I, just the way we are having it, we can have unlimited time. We will have more than, and if it is just you. So now scroll down, you can see the time zone. Uh, exactly, you click on upgrade. But it will start with you from the lower one, which is like uh, that 9,000 something. But if you want, uh -huh. now can you see now that if it were to be share and on share, share and on share, you're supposed to have on share now so that I can see what you have. Uh -huh. You can see the price. It's telling you one, that's just $150 uh, dollars in a year. That's a year. The one you've selected is a year. Uh -huh. That's annual. Click on that 14.99. Click on 14.99. That is for a month. You can see that the, the money has changed. Can you see? That's fifteen dollars. That's fifteen dollars. That's like uh, uh -huh. you are clicking that one. Yeah, that's monthly. Now, if you scroll down, scroll down and see some other things, because people don't look at all those things you can see available add-ons click on click on the webinar click on that webinar you can see that other options are coming in you can see 40 dollars under that at the, above that 40 dollars how many participants do you have 100 now click on that 100 you will see you have several participants you can have up to 10,000 Exactly, exactly. And here you can see that their money are varying. So if somebody tells you that, if somebody tells you that my Zoom payment is one million naira, don't dispute. There are some people who pays one million naira per month for this Zoom. I don't know. I might not know how much prof is paying, but it must be paying very high because. It depends on the number of people that you have. You can even see, you can see 6,490 for 100 participants per month. Yeah, that's that's almost 2 million naira, I mean, 3 million naira. A lot of money per month. So when people see it and say, hey, is it not just $15? No. Let them go in. Benisa, yes, sir. Benisa, yes. Ah, exactly. So it's because they are, they are, they are, they are limited on their idea on how Zoom works. They're supposed to have. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Is it not for? Is it not for them to have more participants? Or for them to have more, the next one that you will pay for after that uh, nine thousand era is that of thirty something thousand era. So, and if you are using it for money, the next one that you can just still manage is that thirty something thousand. My office will pay as high as as high as four hundred thousand per month. Uh, okay, okay, you know what I will show you now. Now scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Let me show you something. Scroll up, go up. Now, you've done that. You can see you have pro. Can you see pro? Pro, P R O, P R O. Uh huh. At the front of that pro, you have one host. Can you see one host? Hey, select it, click it. You have now. I want you to select five. Select five. Select five. See what we have. How much did you see? It's an increase. Do you know what that means? It means five people can have meeting at the same time. 
for 100, 100, 100 people. Do you understand? So what, uh -huh, you understand now, this is how you can select a lot of people to host. Which means if I select, if I pay for this, I can give you as a host. Then I will also have my own host at the same time, yes. So you can have, you will have your own hundred. I will have my own hundred. Another other three people will have their own hundred. So if, but the moment that my participants are more than hundred, they will not be able to continue again. That is where you have all other add-ons, where you have the available add-ons. Now scroll down. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Thank you. 